Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. It's Paper Pumpkin time. If you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, this is a complete kit that Stampin' Up! sells. The most you need is a scissor and if you order your very first kit, you will get a Paper Pumpkin block with it and it'll say Paper Pumpkin on it with your very first one. Now if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, make sure that you are signed up under yourself. Um, with Paper Pumpkin so that you can receive your discount, um, which is wonderful. Now, our Stampin' Up! kits have been coming in shrink wrap. That's something new, which is wonderful, because then they put your address on the outside of the shrink wrap, and it doesn't get your box all yucky. All right? So now we have a really nice box. The name of the kit and the date is on the end, which is always wonderful. I have not opened this kit yet. I just took the shrink wrap off because I have personal information on it, but I have not opened it yet because I like to open it with you guys. So let's see what we have for this month. I've seen a few things online about it. In every kit, you will get either a stampin' spot or a marker or whatever it is that it takes to complete the kit. This month, we have Pear Pizzazz. We have a nice stamp set, nice full-size stamp set. Oh, I love this tree. Oh, I think we're going to have fun with that tree. Oh, look at these little butterflies right here. Oh, aren't they cute? You guys know I love butterflies if you follow me. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Some ribbon. We have the ad. This is for next month. And um, so this right here is all about color. And that's why, too, that they've got it in like black and white and gray. That's fun. So subscribe between April 11th and May 10th, and you will start to get your paper pumpkin. Let's see, is adding Stampin' Up's 2020, 2022 in colors to your May kit. <gasps> Do you see what that says? The new colors are coming. I can't wait. Right here in the new kit. I am very, very excited about that. Okay, I already know that one of the colors' names is Bumblebee, So, but I don't really know. I haven't seen the shade of it yet. I only know that because the ornate bundle or the ornate suite had the color bumblebee on the back of it. So like I said, this is a full kit. It always comes wrapped in nice tissue paper. Let's pull this out. Put this aside. Sometimes for like um, special occasions, uh, like Halloween, we might get some black tissue paper, something different. So that's always a lot of fun. Now let's go ahead and open our kit. So right up here, it'll tell you we are going to make eight cards with eight envelopes. Oh, this tree is just adorable. Look at those leaves right there. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, look at those dots. Oh, I like those. Those are so pretty. Now, this is the first time I'm seeing this, except for what I've seen like on Facebook, you know, or something like that online. So like I say, the most you'll need is a pair of scissors. These are wonderful kits. If you camp... If you travel with business and you love to craft, it's always nice. You could always like get these kits, stack them up, and uh, when you go somewhere, you can take them with you and work on them. Now, there's always directions, and right here are the directions. There's a ruler at the bottom if we have to cut any twine or, um, or ribbon, and it's a full sheet of instructions, and then they give us the pretty pictures here. And then remember on the back, okay, on this side of your paper pumpkin on the back, it shows you some alternative projects. And I just love that. That gives you some really nice ideas, doesn't it? Very nice. So let's see. We have these dots. Wow, those are cute. We have mini dimensionals this month. We have nice envelopes. Oh, ooh, these are pretty. These are pretty. Look at that flap. like that. Sometimes the flap and then sometimes the inside is um, decorated. Oh, we have two, two types right there. Very pretty. Oh, I love the green. I love green and pink. My daughter and I were driving around today and um, I was like, wow, look at the dogwoods are beautiful. They're pink and white and all the green that's blooming. I love spring. I love the colors of spring. This is gorgeous. Life's greatest blessings begin and end with family. It is the families that we learn to love, teach what is most important, and grow together in love and laughter. Grateful for you. Happy to be yours. Wow, is that not a gorgeous setting? I love that saying. Did I say setting? I meant saying. 
Um, yes, that is beautiful. Wow, that is really nice saying. I wonder who wrote that. Now here we have, what do we have here? Oh, these are cards. I don't know how we're going to fold them. They might, might be a little fancy fold on this, right? I'm not sure yet. We have some punch outs here, butterflies and birds. And these are punch outs also. See, they just punch right out. Here's some more cards. Oh, these are cute, guys. Guys, these are adorable. These, I can't wait to get into this. Okay, more there. More things to punch out. These look like those big that big leaf that we saw on there. That looks like a lot of fun. Some tags. <gasps> look at this tree is cool. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is fun. Oh, that's adorable. And I kind of almost <laughs> like this right here. I don't know why, but I do. That's funny. Okay, so there's the trees. And now we have a big um, sheet of mini glue dots. So I'm going to break away. I'm going to put a card together, and I'll be right back, and we will put it together on camera. Back in a minute. Okay, so I got so excited with this kit that I started just putting it together yesterday. Honest, guys, I was so happy with new product. I just started putting it together. And so I wanted to show you how to stamp this tree on your card. I already have the inside done. I love these little butterflies right here. I'll show you that stamp. I'll always be here for you. And we're going to make the outside because, like, here it is. Family, uh, where life begins and love never ends. It's going to go like this, but I'm going to do another one for you because, really, I did my cards. I had so much fun with this set. Look at how cute this is. These just open just like that. Isn't that adorable? Um, so yes, this demonstrator is ready for new product. <laughs> so um, behind here, there is a light uh, shadowing of some leaves. And then in the center, there's some little gold objects. And, you know, little dots between the... Um, the leaves and so I'm going to show you how to stamp this leaf here I'm just bringing in a piece of regular whisper white I'm going to ink up this stamp now it's this stamp right here that's the tree and this evening uh, I'm live at 7 on Facebook on Sunday I'm going to be doing something alternative with this because this is just too cute um, but Here's what you want to do on this kit. You want to stamp half of the tree on one side, just like that, to get the full effect of the tree. And then bring this over and flip it and do this. And there is your big tree. Now, if you didn't want to use this brown, isn't that adorable? That is just so pretty. I love that. I absolutely love that. But you could always just stamp this little base. Let's go ahead and do that while we're just messing around here. Let's use some early espresso and let's see how this looks on this tree. I think it's so cute. Just right here. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so what a fantastic stamp set. I have to totally apologize about getting carried away and having fun with this set, but it was what it was, right? Okay, so right here is our banner, and we're going to make that right here with our pair of pizzazz. We're just going to stamp this in the center, just like that. Beautiful. And we're going to add some glue dots to this, just on the back. I'm going to add three. And these I put in the center, because I'm going to straddle it over that kind of piece of crushed curry. To me, it looks like crushed curry. So right here, and this is how you make this element just right there so cute right 
Isn't that adorable? Okay, now you have to think about the card with this. Okay, let me close my ink. And let me get my card here. So we want the card to open like this, the top to open right here. So you want this to attach here, but you also want it to straddle that so that it kind of keeps it down a little bit. What I'm going to do along the top is to put three of the mini dimensionals that come in the kit. So make, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the top here. And I'm just going to place three right there. Cute. Okay. Now, let's get our tree in. Let me move that aside. Let's get our tree in. Let's go ahead and place our cute tree. Of course, I've already got my little... Um, pearls that come with it. I figured out um, you can uh, you can put seven pearls on each and you'll have two left over. You'll have two left over if you put seven on each. Um, so really, really cute. This goes here and we're going to just, again, just use some glue dots on this. Very simple, but fun. And part of the tree trunk is going to hang off. Just put a couple glue dots. Don't need many, just where they fit. And I'm just going to leave the branches where they're at. And then we're going to get two little birds and put them on here too. So this is so sweet. So now I'm just, I would just hold that down and just go ahead and stick my tree on there and let this hang free. See how that goes? Just put that on there and let that hang free. And now you can bring your element in here, close your card, split the difference, put this up there, and now it's just attached to the top. Does that make sense to you guys right there? It's just attached at the top. So that is very, very, I love that. Let's go ahead and get some little bluebirds. <coughs> I want them going in either direction. They're going both ways. Aren't they adorable? And just some glue dots on here. Just like that. And you get plenty of these guys. So maybe you might have more in your family and you might want to add a couple more little birds, right? I just love this set. Close that and let me place this bird right here. Oh, I just, isn't that adorable? Absolutely, guys. I could not help but get like just so excited about this set and I just started stamping. But as you can see, they are all just beautiful. They're all so much fun. Okay, back in a minute and we'll put the other card together and I promise I won't get carried away with that one. Okay, let's put this card together. One is cuter than the other. Look at this Z fold. A Z fold, guys, in a paper pumpkin. Isn't that fun? I just reversed the sayings that I did from the other card, and I really, really love this. Just a very, very nice kit this month. I'm, I'm pleased with it. So I'm going to move this to the side. Now, you know, on the stamp set, it has... Um, daughter and brother and dad and um, sister and mom. You know, there's a lot of things on here, and brother. Um, so there's a lot on here. You know, to my wonderful dad, to my wonderful brother. It, it, it is all about family, is this set. So I'm, I just love it. Okay, let's get a base here, and let me show you how to create this Z fold. Okay, you want this to show towards you. So you want this to come on itself, fold it, and then back on itself, just like that. So that see how it is a Z? Put the larger side toward the bottom, toward your, your working surface. Fold your card over, and then fold it back on itself. Now I am going to use my bone folder. You can of course use the edge of a plastic knife, works fine. Or your fingers, your fingernails, that's fine. I just happen to have the tool. 
I've already put together every single one of these. I had so much fun off camera. I put every single one of them together. And I wanted to show you um, what we have left over is a bunch of bluebirds. And we're going to have a bunch of butterflies too because we only need one for here, for this one. And then this is what I have left over. Two trees and one banner. So I don't know what I'm going to use those on, but we'll figure something out. And then there's going to be stuff left, a little bit left over from this also. Okay, so now that we have our fold, let's go ahead and, um, and stamp the inside with our sentiment. Like I said, I just reversed what I had on the other one. And so inside is family where life begins and love never ends. Right there. Pretty. And I'm going to use this little sprig. I love, I love this. I didn't know it was that cute. I absolutely love it. And then on the outside of the envelope. Just adorable. I love that sprig. Okay. So that's the inside. And now let's go ahead and get our um, our banners out here. Or our, yeah. And um, we're going to use this one. So we ha I'll have two more cards to do. So I'll have three of these. And then they cut these out for us. We've got all six of those. So that's fun, you know, just to have something um, to stamp on. Now we're going to take one of these um, leaves. So I guess I have six of these and I have four cards, so I'll have a couple of these left over also. So let's see what we could come up with, right? It's always fun to um, do alternative projects with Paper Pumpkin. So much fun. A fun kit, it kind of like helps you get really creative. And I have to admit, I am ready for new product. I am just, I just look at everything and go, I'm ready. I'm ready for new product. I'm like a little bit not um, too creative at this moment. <laughs> so I was really happy when I saw Paper Pumpkin come in. Okay, let's um, stamp on the outside. I'll always be here for you on this little stamp right here. And these are little, so I don't even have my foam. there. Beautiful. Okay. And now what um, the directions call for is um, five inches of ribbon. So we want to bring in our directions right here. And let's get our, our ruler. And it says, it. Uh, let's see, where does it say? Right here. Layer five inch piece of ribbon. Okay, so five inches. Right here. I take my snips. Now you want to fold this in half. This is what I did. I folded it in half. And this way now each piece and then pull it. Okay, pull it like that. Each piece is even. And then I snipped it. Now it calls for it shows in the picture one side is straight. Now just keep them together and the other side is angled. So I just kept them together and I just cut a little angle on one side. That's it. So it's all the ribbon right there that you waste. And we have plenty more. Let's put that aside and put that aside. Get, do this. Okay. Now, what's next? Let's go ahead and bring our piece in here that has our beautiful saying on it that I read at the beginning. And I, now you have, a, you have a choice. You could put this down with glue dots or dimensionals. I'm going to use glue dots at first with this right here. And I'm going to put one here, right here on the bottom, and then I'm just going to kind of roll it up into itself. Um, and it'll just be little then on that piece of the fern that's hanging out like its stem. See, just roll it, like take your little tool and just roll it up on itself. And you can make them any little shape you need, right there. Okay, now I'm just going to put these around. Just about three more. You don't need them all over the place. It will stick just fine with this many on there. What a wonderful kit. I ju I'm just having just so much fun with it. Okay, now the secret here is your stem. Over the word grateful, you kind of want it to come over the G. Okay, and then it will lay in there just 
perfectly like it should okay just like that all right now um, let's bring our well we still need the glue dots let's bring our ribbon in and work on our ribbon here and I want the angled piece toward the left side of the card so right here I'm just placing two glue dots toward the top of this little piece of ribbon this way we can manage this because it is a little floppy okay now I'm going to place the other piece of ribbon with the angled piece toward the left and I'm placing it on top here but allowing this to just um, layer upon itself see how I, how I have the two layers right there okay I can actually split that open okay see how they are layered on top of each other but now you have something solid that you can work with in your hand okay now your um, your little saying here you want to put dimensionals so I'm just going to bring them right in the center there and then bring your ribbon in just like that and then take this and allow you want um, actually what I'm going to do is wait uh, you want to put a couple of glue dots on the outside of this ribbon again toward the top okay because you really want it to stick onto that and then you have the dimensionals so just needed a couple of more okay now you're going to bring this in over top of it and you're going to attach it to the bottom of this um, banner with those glue dots and then you have you see what I'm saying you got your glue dots down here and then you have your layers of ribbon and then you have your dimensionals just like that see those layers right there Isn't that cute that's a cute little embellishment now let's bring this in this gives me a lot of ideas do you have guys have like pieces of ribbon that are short perfect perfect now let's put this right here and allow some of this leaf here to show and that is just beautiful there that's gorgeous that really really I love pink I love pink and green absolutely love pink and green in the spring absolutely gorgeous that's fun that gives me a, a nice idea of what to do with a lot of leftover ribbon that I have okay now what I did with the butterfly is I did want this pop, popped up with a dimensional so I put the dimensional in this one little circle of it where it fit so that I would kind of hide it okay just right there so you don't see it and I popped it up and then at the same time though allowed it to lay over the top there and when because this has dimensionals when I put that right there and then just hook that right there it was perfect it just sits right there on that um, banner right there cute right okay now we can attach this here now if you have snail or um, Tombow liquid glue you can attach this is where that goes isn't that beautiful that just I mean here we went from this and there bam but now here you can just put some glue dots or you can use some snail just for the sake of time I'm going to use my snail but you have if you don't have snail you have plenty of glue dots to use um, to do this now remember this part of the card is going to hang off so you know I just eyeball it and then I'm just going to place it right there just too cute Wait a minute. don't commit hold up okay there okay ah. gorgeous we just made gorgeousness isn't that that's just adorable now it calls for three of these it just three of these um, beautiful little enamel dots so it just says three and I think three really is enough it makes it look adorable sometimes you know you could just add too much so I think three is beautiful on that 
So here's our two cards. I made the other ones. They just came together so quickly and wonderfully. I just have two more to make. But as you can see, we have a lot of goodies left over here to make another project. We have plenty of stamp set there to have fun with. We've got some of this left over. Of course, I'm going to use a couple more. We have this. We're going to have two of these left over because I just need two more. So I'm going to have two of these just like I do the tree. So that's, that's great. You're going to have a bunch of dimensionals. You're going to have some glue dots and you're going to have some pearls left over. That is not, I love to have the leftover stuff because I like to make alternative projects. Okay, I am already done with these. I had to finish these off camera. They were just so much fun with this. Um, this tree is just adorable. I did all of my envelopes and everything and I am just thrilled. Let's put two together here. I am just thrilled with this kit for family this month. I hope if you have this kit, you will enjoy it as much as I have. I cannot, I'm so happy we got a Z fold and isn't that fun? You know, I mean, I've, I've got to measure this because see, this is longer here. See how that's longer? I've never done that before on a Z fold. So that's different. So that's just fun. Okay, I've completed the entire kit and I absolutely had so much fun with these fun fold cards. I love fun fold. So this one go, opens like this and then this one opens like that. And I have eight beautiful cards this month and they are with gorgeous envelopes and just a lot of fun. I love this one. I have to re I have to measure this because I really, really love this Z fold type like that that they just did. So pretty. I hope you enjoyed your kit this month. If you are not a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, I would love for you to join my Paper Pumpkin team. They get the two free card kits every month that I put together. Um, this month, they will receive this one right here. These are the free card kits for this month. So if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you get my two free card kits every month. So please sign up with me on my Paper Pumpkin team um, and ha let's have some fun with some great product. The link is below. Thanks again for watching and happy crafting.